Hello, and welcome to Utopia Land News. I'm Class Warfare. But first, Class Warfare, what's the big deal? Suffering is a new? Hellfire is old hat. If this Republican budget plan was really so evil and the Republicans really don't care about the deficit, what in the name of Krypton do they want? In lighter news, the new Superman franchise has cast its new villain, the old villain from the Christopher Reeve Superman movies. Class warfare, you say? Tax cuts for the wealthiest few Americans? Wrong again. It's General Zod. Who's that, you say? Well, General Zod was the guy who escaped from space jail to travel to Earth and fuck up Superman shit. Oh gosh, he sounds like the most villainous of supervillains. How exactly did he fuck up Superman shit? Did he fuck up middle class tax cuts by ransoming tax cuts for the uber wealthy? Nope. Did he put on a worry show for the people of Earth, showing his deep concern for us so he could slash and burn federal spending for food assistance and immunizations? Nah. -uh. Did he get rid of Medicare and Medicaid? Nope. Burn abortion clinics? Nope, 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 nope. Well, damn it! This supervillain is supposed to be the evilest of evil, but all he wanted to do was take revenge on Superman because Superman's daddy fucked up his shit. That's some simple Jerry Springer style trailer park revenge. Hell, that's some George W. Bush shit. Go figure. I for one believe that this slow apocalypse of class warfare is for the birds. I'm glad they're bringing back General Zod. If the end of days is upon us, I hope it's a simple ending. And in the final moment, Superman gets in a fist fight with a tornado instead of getting fisted by the Republican budget plan. That's news. See you in space jail. See you in space jail, Ivory Coasts, Bilbo Baggins. Oh, Laura Bagagbo. Gabagbo? I'm I'm being told that it's Lauren Kabagbo. Ivory Coast's Lauren Kabagbo. See you in space jail. My bad.